Babcock and Wilcox boiler. Let's try to understand its construction and working. It consists of a straight horizontal longitudinal drum filled with water. The boiler drum is connected with a series of uptake header tubes at the front end and downtake header tubes at the rear end. These tubes are connected by series of inclined water tubes. Generally, the water tubes are having inclination of about 15 degrees. The solid fuel is fed through the fire door and then burnt over the grate to produce hot flue gases. These flue gases are then forced to move upwards between the water tubes, where baffle plates are provided to guide the movement of flue gases and ensure proper heating of the water tubes. On absorbing heat, the water flowing in the water tubes gets converted into steam. This steam moves towards the uptake header and gets collected over the water level in the boiler drum. Here, anti-priming pipe is provided to separate water from the steam and dry steam is then supplied to the superheater tubes. This converts the saturated steam into superheated steam, which can be taken out from the steam stop valve. Ash produced by the burning of fuel is collected in the ash pit while the smoke is allowed to escape into the atmosphere through a chimney. A damper is installed before the chimney to regulate the air supply into the firebox. The boiler operation is inspected through the inspection doors on a regular basis. Boiler assembly is suspended on steel girders to enable the boiler drum and water tubes to expand and contract during operation. The boiler is fitted with other usual mountings like pressure gauge, water level gauge, feed check valve, safety valve, blow off valve, etc. This is the complete construction and working of straight horizontal Babcock and Wilcox boiler.